Girls, it's Queen Bee from Honey Bee Toys. And today we are making another uh, shaker card with these new Shopkins giant stickers that I have. So I got these giant stickers. They are so big. The sheet is so big that it doesn't even fit in the whole camera screen. And the stickers are really big, so it'd be perfect to make a little card. I just love all these Shopkins characters like Cookie Cookie that I have here. And this is the Food Fair one, so she's a different color, you see there. And Cupcake Chic that I have in the charm. Mm, look at her. She's so adorable. And we can't forget about Rainbow Kiss. This is my special Rainbow Kiss. It's translucent. And Terry Taco. This is he's in my soap. So if you haven't seen my soap tutorial, be sure to check him out. I have Poly Polish. This is the McDonald's Shopkin charm. This is the regular polish Poly Polish. It's also in soap that I made. And the charm Poly Polish. Look at all these Poly Polishes. And Poly Polish is just right over there. Who else do I have? I have Toasty Bread right over here. And here's another Cookie Cookie. This is Cookie Cookie Charm. So she comes in this little Chopkin bracelet. And another, oh, this is my translucent strawberry, uh, rain, uh, cupcake cheek. So let's get started. We wanted to make a shaker card, and I made one of these tutorials before, but I'm going to do it again with a Ziploc bag, because mine started leaking. Oh no. So what I'm going to do is pick a sticker. Which sticker should I pick to make my card? Hmm. Which sticker? Pick me, pick me. I'm a cupcake. I'm great for birthdays. Everyone eats cookies on their birthday. How about some toasty bread? Hmm, maybe I'll pick cupcake sheet because that would be perfect. I'm making a birthday card cake. Uh, birthday card, so cupcakes would be perfect. So let's pick, let's get cupcake sheet. And I'm going to get a piece of paper also before I stick it on. And so I have this blue sheet of paper and I'm just going to fold it in half to make a card. So we are making a birthday card and it would be perfect to put a little cupcake on it. Just fold it in half like that. And we're going to stick, we want to stick Cupcake Chic in the middle, but we're going to make a shaker card. So how are you going to do that is, first we're going to fill the Ziploc bag. So we have a Ziploc bag, I'm going to fill it with some hair gel. So this is just some hair gel that I have, and we're just going to squeeze it in. Squeeze it in. Ooh, ooh, I feel like just squeeze it in more towards the bottom. Ooh, this hair gel smells really good. That's about enough, I think. We don't want too much hair gel in there. Let's see. Let's see. Mm, maybe a little bit more, huh? Can't see any color on it, but that's okay. We're going to add so many little... Oh, there we go. So I squeeze the hair gel in. We're going to just move it towards the bottom like that. And we are going to put glitter, my favorite. So I have so many tubes of glitter. I don't know which one should I pick. Since Cupcake Chic, maybe we'll pick like a pink one. That one's pretty. Maybe this pink one is even prettier. See that pink one? Yeah, we'll do this one. Let's see, and we're gonna just open up our Ziploc bag and we are going to put this glitter in. We're just gonna shake, 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 shake. Ooh, look at how pretty that glitter is. Oh my gosh, it looks even better like that. So we're just gonna put that glitter in and then we're also gonna take my confetti. So I have so much confetti. Um, we can put stars in there and little hearts and so many cute little things. So let's just put some confetti in there. I picked some stars and some hearts and some flowers. And we're just going to put it inside our little Ziploc bag. Now open it up and we're just going to mush everything around. So I'm going to close the Ziploc bag on the top. Now we have our little ooey gooey shaker card here. And we're going to cut our little opening here. So we're going to be able to see Cupcake Chic underneath. And how big should we cut it? We want to cut it around the same size as uh, Cupcake Chic. So I'm going to get a little scissor, a little blade. And I just want to measure how big Cupcake Chic is. And she is around three inches by two and a half inches. So that's what I'm going to cut. Three inches by two and a half inches. So I cut that little pocket out and it's so cute. And then I just want to make sure my cupcake sheet will fit in that little window, and she does. And let's see, and then my little shaker and window fits in there too, so it's all glittery, glittery and sparkly. And we're just going to take cupcake sheet, and we're going to stick her inside this. Oh, look, it's transparent! Oh, I didn't even realize that. Oh my gosh, that's even cooler. These are transparent stickers. They look all white. I thought they would have white background. But they're transparent, so I'm going to stick Cupcake Chic right back there. Like that, this card already looks so adorable. 
So now we're gonna tape this on and I just folded the Ziploc bag, just rolled it up on the top. So you only have one layer and then we're just going to put it right there and then we're gonna tape it on. And then I also cut out a, another just blank sheet of paper like this. It's the same size so we can cover up all this tape. We just wanna, and I, we can put glue stick on there. We just glued it and then we're gonna cover it up like this. And now when you fold it over, you have your little card. And then you can see Cupcake Chic in there. Can you see her floating with all the little shaker cards? It's so pretty. But we're not done yet because we want to stamp Happy Birthday on here. I'm going to stamp Happy Birthday. So I have my letter stamps. And I'm just going to attach them on. And then we're going to stamp Happy Birthday. Gosh, that took forever. So I found Happy. And I'm just going to take my Mr. Sketch markers over here. And I'm going to color rainbow colors on each of the markers. So let's do red, orange, yellow, green, and blue. We can't do purple because Happy only has five letters in it. So we're just going to take our marker, and oh, this smells so good, and we're just going to color in each letter over here. So that's how you can make rainbow stamps. See? So we're just going to do A. I hope the yellow shows up. The yellow. Oh no, the H didn't come out. So what we can do if the H didn't come out is, it was yellow, but I think the yellow is too light. Maybe it's not. Let's try to put the yellow back. I use the H and the happy too, so that's why there's a little red on it. And we'll just try to stamp it and match it as best we can. There we go. Happy birthday! So this is our little Shopkins birthday card, and it is so cute. Whose birthday is it? Do you know whose birthday is it? It's birthday Betty's birthday. Should we sing happy birthday to birthday Betty? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear birthday Betty. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> and here's your little shopping card. It's a cupcake. Yay, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. And stay tuned for my big Shopkins giveaway. Thanks, and bye now.